Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Zachary Dawson. I'm Brian Jenkins. And we will be presenting you today on aerospace engineering. So, what do aerospace engineers do? Well, they use physics to make aircraft soar, and they design everything from aircraft to missiles to spacecraft. The disciplines of aerospace engineering. There are three sections of aerospace engineering where aerospace engineers focus on. That is uh, rockets, uh, fixed wing, and rotor. Uh, on rockets, they go from missiles to satellites to jetpacks. Fixed wings, of course, from either small biplanes to the giant Boeing 747s. And rotor, which can go from helicopters to hovercrafts. Now, here at Georgia Tech for aerospace majors, there are a few key important courses that really define the Georgia Tech aerospace education. Uh, these include the math courses, which are Calc 1, 2, 3, and differential equations, as well as physics 1 and 2. Then there's the trilogy of Newtonian mechanics, which includes statics, dynamics, and thermodynamics. And finally, there is senior design, which is where the senior picks one of three focus areas and designs and creates a project Series. Now, while aerospace engineers hire, or aerospace companies hire aerospace engineers, lots of other industries hire aerospace engineers. These industries include the defense department, the automotive industry, nautical, private, and models. So, models of airplanes. And so, the reason they hire, especially in the automotive, defense, nautical, and private, is that aerospace focuses on fluids, which is not just um, the air, but also liquid or as in water. So it works great for all, all anything that encounters air and water. Now, aerospace engineers do very well, especially when compared to other engineering disciplines. The median salary for an aerospace engineer is $97,000. $480 a year. The highest paying sector is federal government, which pays over $100,000 a year. And the lowest paying sector is manufacturing, which pays almost $90,000 a year. Now, for our uh, presentation, we got the honor of interviewing um, Professor uh, Sancor, and we will tell you a little bit more about him. His inspiration for coming to the United States started with the space race. He grew up during the era where the United States and the USSR were competing for dominance and influence outside the Earth's atmosphere. Thus, he wanted to be part of this competition, but from the United States perspective. Thus, America was the perfect opportunity for him to come and experience this while doing his graduate education. And also, the price was right. George Tech offers a great education and a price, so he couldn't say no to a great opportunity. So before he did come to uh, America, he received his um, aeronautical engineering undergraduate degree from the Indian Institute of Technology in India, and then right after he came to the best school in the U.S. and got his master's and Ph.D. in aerospace engineering. His work experience before coming to the U.S. included working for Lockheed Martin. During this time, the C-17 was not the workhorse of the United States Air Force. Uh, during this time, Lockheed and other aerospace companies were competing for the bids to build the C-17 for the USAF. Thus, uh, Dr. Sankar worked to, on the actual wings of the C-17, making them stronger, however still more flexible and more aerodynamic and overall more efficient to consume less fuel. Now, as Dr. Sankor is a professor at Georgia Tech, he is also required to do research. Um, his topics are in helicopter aerodynamics, ice formation, and in wind energy. Now, his uh, focus in aerospace engineering is with rotor. So, on the helicopter aerodynamics, he told us he works 
with increasing the efficiency of the blades, the weight of the blades, um, better angle so they use, they cut less wind, they use less energy, and on the elasticity of the um, blade so they bend the right way and of course are more efficient. And uh, the sponsors for him are of course military and then he also meets with the industry about once a week. Now, Dr. Sankar also told us about a few, a few key aspects to the aerospace program here at Georgia Tech. One of them is math. Engineering is written in the language of math. Math is very important. It forms the foundation, the basis of how we understand uh, the process of designing new things. And also, computer programming is important to have a good basis in because it helps us solve problems when uh, our current methods aren't. Teamwork orientation is also a, a really integral part of the aerospace program here at Georgia Tech because there's no way one student alone can make it through the program. You need other students to help you to solve problems or any roadblocks or impediments that you come across. You may not always be able to get through it by yourself. This is also where communication skills comes into play. You have to be able to talk to other students, make friendships, build relationships, whatever you have to do to get through it together as a team. Now, the aerospace industry in the U.S. is definitely concentrated in certain areas. Uh, in Seattle, Washington, Boeing has a huge presence. Uh, in L.A., California, uh, Boeing also has a huge presence, along with North of Drumming. And in Houston, of course, we know uh, there's NASA. Uh, Cape Canaveral in Florida has another NASA station. And in Cleveland, Ohio, there's a NASA research uh, area. And again, my name is Zachary, and my perspective on aerospace is that it fits my excitement to explore and discover. I've always loved flying since I was a little kid, played with little model rockets, and loved the way to see how they would work. I'm also very strong in math and science, and I want to make a significant contribution in our age of flight, uh, which right now we're trying, we just landed a Curiosity rover on Mars. Uh, Felix Bogmater just jumped from the edge of space, hit the speed of uh, sound coming down. Um, lots of stuff are happening in the age of flight right now, and I just want to make, be a significant part of it and help carry us maybe to the next level. Additionally, my perspective is that aerospace engineering gives me the opportunity to make other people and objects fly, something that I've never had the opportunity <coughs> myself. It gives me the freedom to process and design things beyond the ground. Thus, the earth is not my limit anymore. I can go in the sky. I can go in the space. As far, my imagination is my limit with aerospace engineering. And I want to give citizens access to methods, methods of transportation, shorten distances, bring families closer together, and foster communication between people on the other side of the earth. Uh, that is our presentation on aerospace engineering. Uh, my name is Zachary Dawson. I'm Bradley Jenkins. And uh, thank you for sitting down with us.